what's, what's the difference? What's the biggest difference that you've seen between like fifth grade and third grade? Um, like the way we like act, like, cause in third grade it's like, like you still like seem like a baby, and then like you see other third graders, and you say like, wow, how much you grew, cause they seem so small, but you don't like realize how that that was your size in third grade, and like how they act, it's like you matured over the two years. How do you know that you matured? Um, because third grade, I used to um, I always have to get sent to the office, and like I was, yeah, I always got sent to the office, and I always like talk back to the teacher and stuff like that. But now I'm like more mature, and I have not got sent to the office this year. Okay, camera got 12 minutes left. So, um, we're going to it as the Boston Massacre. This is Nicholas Park. Get my pencil. Uh, you should do the one with the taxes and that bitch and stuff. I know. I'm going to be the guy saying, I'm going to be the guy saying, I'm going to be the guy saying, I'm not saying, you got my pencil. Taxes. I'm going to paper, I'm going to say, paper at a Nazi. I'm going to paper at a Nazi. I'm going to paper at a Nazi. I'm going to paper at a Nazi. Six men were wounded. No, you don't have to be Paul Revere. Let's have a Paul Revere. You don't act like it. One day, the colonists and Britain were still mad because they were living in their own towns and cities. But then the Britain made the colonists' jobs more difficult and their relationship between the soldiers were reversed. They, start, they started to protest, then they threw rocks and stones at them. The British the general said, the British general said, hold your fire. <laughs> Hold your fire, but the soldiers stopped fire. Hold your fire. <laughs> 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 I'm supposed to be on green because she moved me for no reason. Because Christopher, Cherish, and Dejanay were talking, and she thought me and Kristen was talking. So she, since she didn't know what happened, I was supposed to be right here. She was supposed to be right here. But now we're right here. Yeah, they put me back right. Here. So what happens when you get on red again? When you get on red, nothing. When you get on red, nothing really happens. It's like you just get in trouble or something. You'll either get in trouble or or get a phone call home or an email to your parents. Is this like this in every class? Um, yes. Every single class that you have, you have red lights. Yes. Sometimes it's not a stoplight. Sometimes it's just like a little color, a little piece of paper, like. With either blue, green, yellow, red. Yeah. In some classes, when they do blue, that means you're great. Then you go to green, yellow, and red. We're in the middle of an experiment to, to answer a question about what kind of environment these darkling beetles prefer. What is a controlled experiment? What is a controlled experiment? Nick? Like when you changing things, like when you change variables, but you like changing them one at a time. Ah, okay. So we can change only one variable at a time. What's a variable? Jacqueline? A variable is like when you change something, like something that you're going to change. Like with ours, we change it once should be half season and once should be have no season. And then, and then by like what Nick said, putting it together in control, a controlled experiment. We only change one thing in each spot. That's because we're supposed to be on the resources and draw a little box and do the separation thing. So, and then like the hypothesis. No, you already did hypothesis. Prediction. Hypothesis, we've done it already. We're working on where our beaters were. For uh, the tour, for our runways, so um, no, he can climb up. But um, so which food would they prefer in our terrariums that we um? Uh, 
What? What food are people for? Um, we're doing apples, apples, oranges, and ban bananas. Seeds, we use kip, corn, barley, barley peas, clover, clover, and radish. Yep. Books. Well, my question is where are these beetles at? Ugh, got a rash. Hold on. Found one. What were your results? Our conclusion is that it seems like they really do not care where they are placed at as long as they have somewhere to be. Right now, we have data from six different experiments that we want to put together. We want to share that data with the other scientists in the room so we get kind of a bigger picture idea of the environmental preferences of these beetles. What, they, what we did was that when we, we put oranges, apples, and bananas in the runways, and we put one beetle in each one yesterday, and then when we came back today, we found all of them, two on the top of the pile, and one on the bottom, but they were all in the banana. So they seem to prefer bananas over apples. Okay. What did I say math boxes were? Yes, yes. Yes. What do you need to bring with you, Kristen, when you head over to Miss Bella? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. And then you come to me, and then EM Games. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Dejanae, Anaya, Brianna, Jaquan, Marcus, you're starting out with Miss Bella. Okay. And then Anansi, Kristen, Christian, Kayla, Cherish, you're starting out with me. This is the first time I've ever listened to these instructions. To. Seven, right? Eight. It's sixty-four. No. It's twenty. It's twenty yards. Exponent. Like ten to the yeah. I had to listen to the direction. That's how you. So the base is three to the first power. Right. So that's one. No, that's three. It's, yeah, that's three yards. So that means you. Um, and look. 36, oh, man, 36, 180, 216. Yep. So it's three. Yeah. So it's three. Yeah. Well, I got 23. Yeah. I, didn't, I, I thought it said three. Do you have any different freedoms now that you're three? Yeah. Like, I can like do more stuff since we, um, out of Otis in the school, we go on different field trips. Like, we're going on a big camp trip this year mm -hmm. that, um, only fifth years, fifth graders are going to, and that's what we're doing, and that, and only fifth graders, and we're going to go see other students. Okay. That what, like who are going to middle school with us? What school? You, what middle school are you going to? Um, Woodson. Woodson. Yeah. You looking forward to it? Uh, yeah. What do, you, what do you think would be some of the biggest differences? Um, changing classes and having more teachers. What have they told you is going to be different? Like, I haven't heard that much yet, mm -hmm. but I think that so, it's going to be a big difference. So, like, um, between now and next year, what do you think? What do you think you have to change to be ready? Do you have to change anything to be ready? Um, I think I have to change a little, but I don't have to change like a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. I think I just have to get like ready, because right now I usually like breeze through my homework, and now I think that now I'm not gonna have as much freedom as I used to, because I'm gonna have to study more. And, um, to have more work. 
Well, one thing that happened today was, well, we had communion circle. I forgot. I do not know what they talked about. Then... <laughs> you start off the day with communion circle? No, first we would start off reading this book called Where the Red Fern Grows. Mm -hmm. And then and then we had to eat our breakfast during it. And then after that, that's when we go to communion circle. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that happens with my day is that at the community circle, we will, we mostly would do reading workshop where we have to read a book until we're done. Okay. I can't believe that's got to be good. And then, and then after that, we we supposed to do writing. We supposed to do writing, writing because we're doing a little. I think biography. We put. Well, I don't think we're doing right now. Then we had to do, we had to do social studies, which was with the skit. What else happened today? And then, then we went to lunch. Had some spaghetti. It's fine. It was chili mac. Yeah, chili mac, which I do not like at all. And then after that, we came up here. We had our math. We did math rotations, and now we're about to go to gym. Yay! Huh? Uh, yeah. And that's it. What happened with Isaac? Well, I said I think for most people, like the pe third graders, I think it would be pretty tough since it's their first year actually doing ISAT. So I think that they they were a little frantic while they was taking the test. So when you so when you go to what's what's in, what's in next year? What, what do you think is going to be some of the biggest differences? The class, like classes. switching classes and seeing more teachers and different subjects oh, yeah. than Ms. I might um, score. Ms. Yeah. Pinterest will teach science though. And like, um, I think, my turn. Oh, sorry. Um, I think that uh, the switching classes, seeing more teachers, more subjects, and I think what and having I might, people like, that you never knew. knew like being the youngest in the school, like going from being the oldest so to being the youngest. The youngest grade. Like, because we never been the youngest in the school. So, well, actually, we have the first grade, kindergarten, first grade. No, it's about like, we're all the other classes, like now we're the oldest up in the school. Yeah, but we're like the youngest, youngest. Yeah, but um, like now, like, and then I think that we might struggle with some subjects that we not that we really don't like. Like, like when I saw the little science class when we went to, when I, my mom took me to the open house, the way it looked, it was like so different from ours. They had chemicals, they had a big smart board there, and then you know the little thing to get the, the chemicals out your face. Then um, they had a whole then the chairs you had to pull them down and actually pull them out off the table and the classroom it was a little pod it was it was about from that classroom door all the way to that from to that um the city of your classroom door but except it was it was circled around because it's about four pods per grade which is and then a new thing is going to be that little robot thing my parents want me to do that it's going to be robotics mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we we take on schools and School dish, different school districts that are in the range. So it's not like somewhere we travel to a different state, travel to a different country or anything. Do you think any of your like study habits will yeah. have to change? I think. I think that it's gonna have to change because like right now I can like easily breeze through my homework and not have to like study as much. But I think since we have more subjects. We have to be more careful of what we do, and we have to take like more of our free time and, away, uh, away, and like do what we're supposed to do. Okay.